<laughs> reminds me of sark professor <laughs> you know how that uh, what turns that took but clearly seo will not take that turn but uh, as time goes on do you believe that uh, india will slowly start losing interest in an organization in the multilateral like the seo thank you frank i uh, don't think seo is uh, uh, comparable to sark because seo has had its own share of uh, success uh, a great deal of success initially at least and they have very clearly defined their uh, objective to be a uh, largely terrorism and uh, transnational crime now, of course driven by china they usually call it uh, international terrorism extremism and uh, radicalism uh, that's a language that they use and they have added now religious uh, uh, radicalism and uh, information security uh, cyber security uh, even food security in the blockchain I mean, so uh, there is a certain imprint of china and uh, of course russia would have a certain advantage but india's interest in, uh, disappearing in that uh, uh, i don't see that happening because it's a much larger now there are several observer countries special invitees so i would like to put this meeting in uh, dushanbe Uh, in a context, you have to see that in, in last few days only, uh, Prime Minister has had a direct conversation with 14 uh, party leaders uh, from uh, Jammu and Kashmir province uh, in Union territory. This is also the time when, for the first time, India has started a direct dialogue with Qatar, with Taliban, and now meeting of NSAs in that backdrop uh, in Dushanbe in SU format. Uh, also, the fact that uh, NSA of India and NSA of Pakistan, Moy Yusuf, uh, have had perhaps a back, back channel diplomacy going on between them.